Welcome back everyone, I am The Depressed Eeyore and this is Final Fantasy Tactics. So... Last time I played through this, I gave up on the final boss, and at this point, I'm kind of through. <laughs> um, it's not whether or not, I can, whether or not I can beat the final boss or not. Um, it's more whether or not it's actually fun or fulfilling to do it. Um, the problem with, there's many things wrong with the boss, and there's even posts on the freaking uh, insane difficulty uh, forums about it. And, you know, some people are like, oh no, it's okay, and some are like, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, it's not impossible. Obviously, people have beaten it. Um, I just, I'm not going to put myself in, or you guys through it. As you probably have noticed, I've been using lots more save states as the game progresses. Um, for the most part, the game kind of goes downhill around Chapter 3. Um, with, you know, obviously a few issues with certain boss fights uh, before then. But, yeah. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about the final boss. Uh, the final boss has insane stats. His, his speed is through, is rather high. It's actually above 15, uh, some people have said. Um, he has... Now, the thing that's interesting about the boss, uh, they did pull up the stats for the final form. And the final form actually has zero attack power. Um, obviously, that pretty much just means he just casts spells, which is exactly what he did. Um, which would be inter an interesting fight, except for the fact that he doesn't have cast times, he doesn't use MP, and he pretty much teleports wherever he wants and positions all of his attacks how he pleases. Which pretty much changes everything to kind of a big RNG. Um, I think I said before I didn't really like how the fights were how the boss fights ended up being kind of like puzzles, but puzzles is not really accurate uh, because puzzles don't generally have RNG involved. Puzzles generally have a get a known solution that if you do it, will solve the will solve it. Um, you don't get this in this game. There's lots of RNG. Um, the very first boss that you fight, Quilin or whatever his name was, um, has a 20 or 25 percent chance to instant kill you with every uh, dark bio he throws at you. Assuming that the damage doesn't doesn't wipe you out uh, completely, so if something like that happens, it pretty much screws up the majority of your plans, and you end up having to do things like I did, which is save state. It's either that or you reset, which is the more common form if you're playing on an actual console. But of course, that's doesn't really uh, make it any better. Anyway, back to the final boss. So he's super fast. He teleports everywhere because he can teleport wherever he wants. Um, now the thing I've noticed is a lot of times when I do my save states and things like that, the AI is generally very consistent. Uh, mainly because the AI kind of runs off a certain amount of information, such as their movement range, and what targets are available, what are vulnerable to certain things, where it can get an instant kill, things like that. Um, and generally, the AI only thinks one step at a time. The thing is, is when you deal with characters that can teleport anywhere, you might notice the turns take slightly longer because the AI actually has to think about it because it actually has a million options, and all of them are generally viable. Um, so a few of the times when I was trying to save state abuse, things like the, um, the, the um, what's it called, mute spell, which, you know, drains MP, um, eventually, just from me swapping, me cycling the seed and, you know, ending my turn on certain um, frames, changed what the boss did. It actually changed exactly because it has so much information. It's literally picking a random action and deciding on that. Um, now, there's of course a, the only thing that was influencing his actions a little bit was the fact that majority of my party had uh, immunity to, immunity to status effects, which is why I was very shocked when I got blasted with all Ultima um, because of my previous playthrough. I didn't really run into all Ultima. Instead, I was getting hit with that cross uh, ability, which you know, of course, did very debilitating. Um, status effects and majority of my party was male when I when I fought him or fought her um, so I was like okay well it, it, would, it would spam the the cross the cross thing and then it would do that mass uh, random hitting attack it, it just used those two moves I don't I think it might have used all Ultima once but it, I, I guess I blotted it out of my memory I, I'm not gonna bother reviewing the other footage it's not worth my time but so I was like okay I, I took the knowledge of my previous fight, I was like, okay, I don't like the fact that, you know, status effects are always 100% hit chance. Now, granted, this one was 25%, but it hits you with every status effect in the game, so it generally 
just raw law of averages, you're going to get hit with a bunch of them. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll adapt. I'll just take a, a team that's all immune, with the exception of Ramza, and go from there. And then the first thing he did was immediately blast me with all Ultima, which does 999 damage. It's instant cast, has like a large AoE radiates, about the equivalent of Bahamut and those types of spells, and you can't avoid it. There's no way to, there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is you can split up, in which case if you split up you're doing less damage overall because you can't swarm him. If you swarm him, he will teleport and blast you with that spell again and kill a majority of your party. Um, now, Alma helped out a lot, uh, doing things like re-raise, trying to get some haste up and things like that. It didn't really help the fact that the final boss also can put haste on himself, um, or herself. Um, they just made the bosses way too fast. That's the biggest issue. And give me a moment. Oh, never read. There it goes. Anyway. So, yeah. The boss is way too fast. And you might have noticed that in a lot of my final battles, I was using just like characters like uh, Forge and uh, Mustadio. Very, very fast characters. And just try to, you know, bum rush the objective. Like, I just swarmed the, bo I swarmed the, the target, killed him, and ended the fight immediately. Because... As you probably have seen, you know, there's instant cast holies, instant cast this, instant cast that, everything is 100% hit chance. Doesn't matter what your gear is. And, I mean, you notice one night for the final battle, I kind of just ripped off all the shields and cloaks and things like that. Because it was just like, it, it doesn't do anything. Everything's 100% hit chance. Um, and that's the, probably the biggest issue. It's not, the, the final boss is just kind of all the issues that the, the patch version has just all together times 100. The biggest issue with the difficulty patch is the difficulties. It's you're fighting RNG for the most part. A lot of it's a lot of fighting RNG. I mean, no matter what party you have, if Ultima acts and decides to go, oh, I'm going to use all Ultima on this group of people, those people will die, and there's not much you can do about it. I mean, you can get some re-raises up, but that's just kind of prolonging it, and you. You might have noticed on my, you know, many of the boss fights, I've been cutting a lot of footage out because it's literally just me sitting there in a situation where I've locked down the AI and just hit him from afar. Or, you know, hit him with, or debuffed him to a point where I can just beat him down. Uh, out of all the bosses, I think only one, I think there's only two that I didn't do that on. One was because it flew, and it wasn't actually that devastating of a fight, um, which was the, um, whatever, um, Elm door transfer transformed into that demon. Um, the only tough part, of course, was there's level 99 uh, undead there. And then the um, that fight against that lion demon just before uh, Ultima herself. Um, that fight was actually good. It was really... It was... it. The boss did a lot of nasty magic attacks. Its, it's mechanic was, it, as you hit him, there was a good chance that he was going to get stronger with his magic. So that, you know... That kind of de-emphasize using like very light attacks on him. You really want to hit him hard and hit him fast. And his AoEs didn't insta-kill you. They did a lot of damage. And I had to do things like cast shell. But I mean, ca I mean, I don't mind the fact I had to cast shell. I like the fact that I was able to cast heals on myself and it actually meant something. But against the final boss, um, first phase of Ultima wasn't too bad. I, did, I mean, Hamada was a bit much. But everything else was kind of not too bad. I mean, the the the, the random blasting uh, global attack did quite a bit of damage, but you could, of course, use shell and kind of absorb it. The melee attack wasn't overbearing, um, and that was pretty much all she threw at us for the most part. But uh, that wasn't too bad. I mean, like I said, the only th complaint was Hamado because that practically locked out melee characters, unless you're a lancer or a dancer. But um, but yeah, the problem was, is like, at first I was like, oh, I'll cast some heals and stuff just in case um, some other attacks come. But the, all the other attacks I got hit with, I mean, it's either I got hit with all Ultima, which did 999, no matter what, even when shelled. Which means even if I debuffed them, like, for days, it would probably still do that much damage. And the other issue was the fact that, uh, in the other spell, which was the spell that the first phase used, the global effect, hit for, like, 500 in some cases, and... I couldn't, there's no way to survive it. And, I, th I mean, the only reason we were even surviving for very long was because Alma kept on giving us re-raise. And I was 
I will say compared to the last attempt that I did on my other playthrough, uh, we did a lot better. Um, I feel like if I did some shuffling and like emphasize speed, like make everyone ninjas or something like that, I might be able to do something. But it's just not worth it. It's the it's still RNG. I'm pretty much just running up, hitting him, and then hoping he doesn't ult ultima me. And yeah, it's just it's not worth it. <laughs> and that's kind of how I felt with a lot of the boss fights. Like I didn't felt like I achieved anything. I was like, okay, oh, I locked you in the corner, and now I'm gonna debuff you until until you're not doing you know 500 damage with your you know Cyclops spell. And every single boss that I fought had you know seal and some other effects that made them 100% you know petrify and things like that and what the final boss the, the final boss ultimate kind of did which it as we've been progressing through the game as we started fighting things like demon bosses and things like that certain options have been kind of locked out like for example most really wanted to be an oracle because one the oracle looked a lot better than this stupid freaking sprite but um also, it had interesting things. It had status effects. Um, even the patch up, up the effects of the, the status effects, making them a lot more reliable. And then we fought bosses that were immune. We fought special characters that had special classes, like um, freaking, what do you call it, um, Divine Knight and things like that, that had innate immunity to all status effects. That completely locks out an entire class. Most of the bosses you fight um, don't have gear, so that locks out half the abilities of a knight. Um, that locks out nearly all the abilities of a thief. And obviously we already talked about the Oracle. It also blocks out all the effects of a temple a Templar Knight, blocks out most of the abilities of a Divine Knight. So there's a lot of abilities that just get locked out because of these weird boss fights. Where the patch and I guess the game itself shines is when you're fighting essentially on the same ground rules as each other. Now there's definitely some balance issues. Obviously you can't just have everyone be vulnerable to status effects. Could probably if you did that it would probably easily break but when you had both sides playing kind of on the similar rules rules you could kind of mess around you can make your own builds make your own strategies um like for fighting those chocobos those chocobos were really hard to fight but i switched strategies and had kiyomi go you know a lot more evasion and she became like a super tank but eventually that super tankness is completely useless because everything is now 100 percent accurate no matter what Sorry if this is a repeat of my previous rants of this game, but it really kind of just comes down to this. Um, it's not, I'm not going to give the creator of this patch any more of my time, <laughs> essentially. Um, like I said, it's, it, it was a good attempt, I'll say it's a good attempt as far as like balancing the classes and making them interesting. Um, I generally like most of the changes. Um, they're still not balanced, but I, I generally had fun with most of them. Um, but it just, it really falls apart once you start progressing and they, it's like, I, the, it's more like the, the, the creator just did not care enough to think up proper strategies of how to fight another player. Um, that being said, um, there are other patches out there that people have made for Final Fantasy Tactics. I've played through, I've, I've messed around with some of them. Um, a lot of the issues that tend to happen is it's way too grindy, way too slow. Or they have random. They try to do things that try, uh, prevent you from grinding, like make the uh, random encounters so hard that every time you run into them, you pretty much have to reset because they heal too much, or they just out damage you, or have better gear. Um, and which is a shame because some of the patches are kind of interesting. They have uh, really cool looking sprites. They've changed the sprite work, but it's not. I pretty much got. I've pretty much had my fill of Final Fantasy Tactics at this point. Um, that being said, I still enjoyed the fact that a lot of people stepped in, made characters. It, we made more characters than I expected we would ever make. Uh, probably would have been better if you guys consolidated towards, uh, you know, less characters. But uh, overall, I didn't really mind it too much. Some characters I didn't use as much as others. Some I used in the beginning, but not as much towards the end. Um, but yeah, overall, there were unique enough characters that weren't too too much out, there wasn't too much out overlap and um, some things I'll definitely point out that I definitely praise for the patch for is the fact that I was playing a wizard the entire time and I was able to survive the solo fights because usually you can't do that because they're ridiculous um, besides that though um, like I said I apologize once again for dropping out but 
this is it's not more it's not really i'm giving up it's more i am not willing to sp to um devote any more time towards this it would literally take me hours to kill defeat that final boss it has so much hp and the fact that if it, it's designed around making sure the fight is prolonged as long as possible because you can't consolidate your forces to do uh, maximize damage because they will all die <laughs> hands down they'll just die and probably the biggest screw you that the game this patch threw at you is the, the introduction of the um, the fear spell which reduced your brave by 60 is 100% accurate and they, the AI could do it anytime it wants and it usually does it back to back to ensure you turn to a chicken uh, once you turn into a chicken, that's ten. That's at least ten rounds that you can't do anything, assuming you don't get killed. Which, of course, Agrius got killed multiple times. But um, yeah, um, I, I'm gonna go through the footage. I'll make sure it's at least somewhat presentable. I'll at least show the fight as much as I can to kind of show how ridiculous it was. I got hit with so many all ultimas. It got. It was. I was tired of seeing the cutscenes <laughs> of getting blasted to smithereens for 999 damage. It's just. This is, it, it got dumb. It really did. But like I said, I don't mind it. I'm very glad that you guys participated. Um, like I said, this is the most participation I've had in a while. Um, as I'm probably not going to do any Let's Play Togethers anytime soon. Um, I, at least I don't have any planned. Um, I'm going to be messing around with a few other games I've been meaning to want to um, Let's Play, but I've been having some technical difficulties, but I think I've finally fixed them. So um, you'll probably get to see some, hopefully some interesting games. And uh, yeah. I am the Depressed Dior. This was Final Fantasy Tactics. See you guys later.